What is up, risk takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete strategy. I am Pete. I am a top 10 player playing risk global domination on PC. I have a daily release schedule on YouTube. I do a fixed game on Fridays. I do the podcast on Wednesdays. And every other day is whatever I feel like. If you are interested in getting better at the game of risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and come along this ride with me. Today we are playing another round one. Risk Discord Tournament <laughs> practice game. And look at where the bot is in one contiguous position right in the middle of the map. What a joke that is. These blizzards are significant for Australia. If I don't lose that four stack, I can have a single position guard. Oh, man. Cool. I think I'm in the cool. Australia game this game. In the first place, we have Frail Waif from the United States of America. Uh, top 100 player. Uh, top 50 player, I'm pretty sure. 785 hours played on this account. 2,030 wins to 927 losses. In the second position, we have Nacho Savage. Fly the flag of Fiji. Uh, 413 hours played. 343 wins to 215 losses. We have the expert AI in the middle of the pack. Oh, no. Nacho says, no, I'm getting in. I'm getting in on your Australia, you fuck. I'm not letting you have it that easy. Fair enough. Put all my eggs in this basket. There's no reason not to. Lose that two stack eventually. Yeah, that bot is going to be a problem. Nobody's going to address that bot. That bot's just going to expand out of itself. In the fourth position, we have Reed Cakes, who was uh, from the Netherlands, uh, 298 hours with 162 wins and 172 losses, who was uh, uh, third pl uh, fourth place in the Q1 Risk Discord Tournament. Very good player. And finally, we've Darth Pofus, 22-12 from the United States of America with 319 hours, 104 wins to 514 losses. I do not know who Darth Pofus is, but cool name. All right, maybe it's an alt, maybe not. You never know. Let Reed get some value out of that six stack, but I intend on eventually conquering continents called Oceania in this board. It's plus four. So have a one position guard from the Philippines or Japan would be the type of game I want to be playing. Here's how the board works North America is worth plus five, Europe's worth plus five, just like in classic, except Europe has a small bird, North America has a Hawaii. South America is worth three, has an additional territory of the Falkland Islands, which creates a South Atlantic connection. Asia is still worth seven, and it's the same. Africa is still worth three, and it's the same. And there is a connection over the South Pacific as well from New Zealand. That is blocked off in this game by a blizzard. Okay, Nacho's really not letting me have. Oceania, that easy. Got it. Frail lose a four stack in Northern Asia. Yeah, this bot's going to get strong. That three stack is in trouble. Oh, Reed's putting in Australia as well. Interesting. So I think I'm going to go pop pop into Ural. I'm going to move all the way that way. Spot's trying to take Asia. How do I stop that? I also have to maintain this here. I, I got a couple of problems in this board. Not being gifted the Australia at all. So I'm getting a couple of takes in Northern Asia because I don't want this bot to... I want this bot to have an easy road. Basically, I don't want to lose the three stack there. Ideally, I think I still might. Yeah, Frail takes up my two in the Falkland Islands and conquers. 
Good for Frail. Frail has a better continent, I think, because nobody's fighting over it. He's got it. I don't think anyone can address that, because we've all been busy over here. See what the bot does now. A lot of this game hinges. The bot's going to attack by three stacks. Sure, that sucks. Yeah, a lot of this game hinges on what the bot does. Maybe I get lucky and I get the big match. That's kind of what I'm hoping on. I can just pop that 12 stack right out of there. I'm sure he has the exact same idea. Darth of Pope is mostly uncontested taking over North America. So because it's fixed, really can't overextend. Maybe it's sunk cost fallacy, but I'm still going to stick some troops in. Cut the bot in half. Wasn't a great roll, too, was it? Oh, I wish. See, I wish the the emote stayed through the turn end because I I want to know what he said. Did I get the big match? Come on, lucky, lucky. No, not this time. Not this time. What's the bot going to do in this context? Maybe it puts on the 5 and just pops my 4 stack? No, Nacho's got the big match. diversity of options available to him. Now let's see what Reed does. Okay, Reed gets the big match. So if I was Reed, I'd kill me here, right? There's no reason for him not to. I think he's showing me a kindness, which he doesn't need to show me. Try and get out of this mess. My first instinct was to just kill myself. So, I don't know if that's well played, though. I don't know if that's well played. I think I'm just dead, right? I think killing myself would be a better option because then I can go do something else. The big match on four. Hmm.
And Narco is thinking. Hmm. Bot rolls my seven. the game. Yeah, Reed just kills me. I can watch this for a little bit more. I think Frail wins. Gotta punch that ten out. Yeah. And Frail beats Reed. Don't think it's gonna last very long either. So if I had this finish in the tournament, I would be eliminated. So we really got to do a lot more practice on these rounds to make sure we don't get knocked out round one. Sucks to suck. Yeah. Pharaoh removes Reed's exterior positions. Less maneuverability has to work from this spot. Bounty points are worth three. Which encourages a bit more aggression. Nacho is still alive in two positions. The bot's going to surround him in Asia. He's hiding inside of the bot, or being protected by it, however you want to think about it. It's not getting takes. Alright, we're just going to let this one run for a while.
All right, here we are. We reached the end state of this game. Nacho is defeated by Reed. Reed has the attacker's advantage. A slight troop edge over Frail. I think Reed wins this game. Cards do matter a lot. You want to get those big 10 matches, and you want to get them early. Context for Reed winning the attrition battle in Australia against me and Nacho was such that he got value out of killing me because I was in no remaining position. Frog is in the well played. Yep, that was a good game. Frog puts in the 10, he's still trying. Reed also has five cards. This game is over. Good for Frail. I have to break every continent. Asia, takes Europe, takes Africa, takes South America. All of Fail's troops are in North America. And that's the game. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope you found some of it fun and educational. I hope if you are competing in the tournament that you come down practice and I hope that you do well in your games. 28 coming in. Finish it all off. Yeah, so I came dead last in this practice game. Let's uh, let's do better than that, Pete. Let's do better than that. And there you have it, guys. Uh, if you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to this channel. I do a show every day. I release uh, a video on YouTube daily, 
Um, we do the podcast on Friday, uh, not Wednesdays. We do the fixed game usually on Fridays. This week I'm gonna do a few more because uh, round one settings. Let's uh, let's get our practice in. Obviously, we need it. So until next time, for all of you on the path to world domination, good games and good luck.